Hello Internet! Today we are going to review new protected dust and waterproof phone AGM X1. This is basically a debut of the company and the first thing I want to admit that this phone is simply epic. It is not super futuristic but it emanates this brutality combined with the high tech and it looks like something that Batman could use in one of those movies. Even right now I can say that AGM X1 one of the best looking protected phones on the market. Before we continue, please hit the subscribe button below this video to get reviews and unboxing of newest Chinese gadgets. So under the hood device running, Octa-Core Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 processor has 4GB of DDR3 random access memory and 64GB of eMMC storage and fortunately also support the SD card for memory extension. While frame of AGM X1 made of titanium alloy, the back cover made of polycarbonate. The phone feels and looks sturdy and very comfortable to hold and use. It weighs around 200 grams, which also make it one of the lightest protected phones. Volume buttons, which located on the left side of the device and power button on the right side, are perfectly placed and separated, so you would not confuse it even if you will wear gloves. Micro USB port and mini jack for headphones, as well as slot for SIM and SD card, are securely sealed with rubber plugs. And sometimes it might be a problem since it's very hard to open it, especially for people with the short nails. AGM X1 equipped with 5.5 inch Samsung Super AMOLED display with 1080p resolution and protected by Cornean Gorilla Glass. It's slightly deepened inside the phone's body to prevent from damaging during the fall. On the side there are little, around 3mm bezels, which perfectly blend with overall design of the phone. In the situation with AMOLED display, needless to say that it has looked just perfect under any angles or light conditions. It is a bit oversaturated, but I don't see a big problem with it. Another feature of the device is double 13 plus 5 megapixel rear camera, and I must say that it is one of the best cameras I have ever seen on Chinese phones. It is quite fast both to open and to make a picture. On the default settings, pictures made by it just a little bit overexposed, but quite saturated with almost perfect color rendering. It has minimum amount of noises while using it in bad light conditions or at night. Phone is also equipped with dual flashlight, which provides enough light for the images, and what's more, have super fast, almost instant autofocus. 5 megapixel front camera not as impressive, but still quite decent. The pictures have quite a lot of noises, however stained sharp and seem to have decent color rendering. One of the biggest drawbacks of the device is the operating system. I'm not saying that there's something wrong with it, but, well, having Android 5.1 at the era when some smartphones over there already received updates to Android 7.0 looks a bit outdated. On the other hand, system is as stable as it can be and has all functions that are inherent in this version of Android. Overall performance is very good and smartphone can run basically any game that's been released in the recent period. Modern Combat 5 and Asphalt 8 both run very smooth without significant drops of FPS. Apex Citadel showing the result around 33 FPS, while Anti-2 giving to device score around 46,000. Phone has enormously big battery with 5400 mAh that can hold charge for a very long time. For example, under the load of Epic Citadel, on ultra-high settings, 50% brightness and modules turned off, phone can work for 5.5 hours. During the normal use, it can stay charged for 2.5 or even 3 days. Moreover, it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge technology that allows it to charge this huge battery from 0 to 100% in less than 1.5 hour. And that is all for today. If you want to purchase this device, just Press on this icon here or follow the link in the description below. Like our video, subscribe to our channel. I'm Elijah, thank you for watching and farewell.